Welcome to Serial Podcast 9, a podcast about cars mostly, and drifting, and trips to go drifting, movies maybe, car shows, wheels, suspension components, like the premium suspension components found at SerialMind.com. You'll also find fully sick shift knobs, limited run custom steering wheels, bushings, hats, shirts, and much more. Get yours now at SerialMind.com. You're likely also to hear about buying and selling weird JDM cars, scooters, Tesla Peasants, fully sick wheel fitment, BMW headliners, power window and blinker speeds, beers, cameras, and probably some dad jokes starring Gerard D. Don't Ask Dumb Questions Peralta, Kevin Tire Pressure Problems Peterson, and the host with the most percentage of beer, Ryan, bring me my craft beer Benoit. Toyota Thon season, so happy Toyota Thon season yeah. to you, Kevin. Well, I mean, I've been really hitting the Lexus December to remember this year. <laughs> now that now that I have a Lexus, so now that Kevin's got a Lexus, he's a grown he's a grown boy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hey, okay, let's do the. But intro a little closer so to I Christmas, I'll I'll hit the you know the Toyota Thon. Toyota Thon. Okay, do the intro and then we'll talk. I can. I'm Gerard de Peralta. And You're I'm a sad Kevin boy. Peterson. <laughs> Let me just. And I'm Ryan Benoit. <laughs> Let me just do that again. Hold up. I'm Gerard de Peralta. And I'm Kevin Peterson. And I'm Ryan Benoit. And this is Serial Podcast 9, episode 84. The year I was born. Oh, I, read a, I read a security video, and I shouldn't be. Oh, I read. How do you I read watched, a security what, video? What well, is this, technically, what's, what's, you also, can what's put... What's a security video? Like CCTV? All right, you guys, hold on with the questions. First, I made <laughs> a mistake. Let's really dig Second, in on Ryan right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, okay, hold on. First, I made a mistake. Second, Gerard, you could read a video if you had the transcripts on, you know, or subtitles. So that was that's Kevin. Thing. I didn't ask how to read Oh, it. okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, My bad again. I made another mistake. Uh, yeah, descriptive viewing. <laughs> and then, okay. Well, descriptive viewing is different. That's when the oh, that, voice that, tells, yeah, you, tells you That's true. Oh, the okay. lady puts the piece of bread on the <laughs> counter. Um, yeah, that's super funny when you watch that shit, though. And it's yeah, like it's... tense music. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, and a security video at work. They have you watch. You have to do security training if you work with things. So you got to be careful for hackers, essentially, like the old, yeah. oh. the old movie Angelina Jolie's movie Hackers. I'm sure like both you of find, you have you seen find that. a thumb drive in the elevator. You're not supposed to plug it into anything. Yeah, yeah. Don't make social media posts that have people's birth dates and addresses. Was one of the things. I don't know. It seems reasonable. Yeah, but now I just said what year I was born. Oh, no, ah! I broke the rule. Oh, that's where this is going. Okay. That's where that went. Shit, I said man. 84. Great, great. All right. We are in the season. Of... We, also know what, we also know your birthday. You've also said that on, on the thing. And oh. we know your name. Exactly. And we, know your, all, all we also know your social insurance number. To be honest, I've left a lot of breadcrumbs through all 84 podcasts that if you could piece it together, <laughs> you could totally that's, steal that's my That's what AI's for, bro. I'll be like, yo, listen to all these podcasts and pick out Ryan Benoit's fucking... Yeah, all no, his I, I, personal I, no, information. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Try using AI to make a couple of episodes. To, uh, to make some clips. Cl- clip episodes, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. that would be Let's funny. Let's make an entire episode of Gerard being a fucking asshole and then Gerard being motivational. <laughs> Actually, someone did make a joke. Oh, it was Matt Peterson. It was like, oh, AI's coming. It'll take over the podcast. And I responded with like, I don't think AI could keep up with Gerard yet. I don't think we're there. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gerard has formed an opinion. Gerard has changed his opinion. Does not compute. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it is December. Uh, in the spirit of <laughs> Kevin, what did you say the slogan is? What Lexus? What's the uh, Lexus to Dece- to December to remember? With Lexus, oh. yeah, Lexus uh, Kevin December to remember. Yeah, Kevin now has a Lexus that he's been driving. Yeah, I've been driving it for two days now. Still figuring out all the buttons. There's a shit okay. ton of buttons. They're all in that <laughs> little thing though, so it's easy. You know, just open the thing and press away. Yeah, there's also a bunch of buttons in the center console. Then there's also like the touch screen. Apparently it has like a hard drive that you can internally yeah. put stuff onto as well. Yeah. Um, Herbal tunes. 
<laughs> no. no, like no. Audi- audio and stuff. <laughs> Surprisingly, oh, okay. when Ryan borrowed my truck with its hard drive that had all this cool music on it, suddenly there was no music left <laughs> except no, for it Drake. Only, it, it was, was only Drake. It was all Drake. <laughs> I was like, man, Gerard loves Drake. No, it had like it had like Eagles and like other. It had so much shit on there from the but previous. Oh, I just gone. thought you were yeah, running through the six before. with your woes all the time, you know. <laughs> All right, we talk a lot about BMWs and all the cool tech, but now I feel like, is this the newest Toyota, Lexus, we've ever had a chance to really talk about? I mean, I guess. Um, You're not even excited about it, but now cool. I'm interested. No, I mean, it's the, it's the newest vehicle I've owned. Like, I feel like it's like at the same generation as the 18 Crown was, but it's definitely way nicer inside and has way more buttons. Like, I was using the cruise control, and there's like three different distances you can set the like auto braking sonar to but oh. you know like how close you want to follow the car in front of you yeah it also has like an auto a full out yeah. auto braking thing on the cruise Did you control. tell them that on your insurance autonomous braking no bro it's a fucking discount man dude I'm they were so you. stupid okay i'll tell them i'll figure i'll i'll figure it out i'll tell them next time or well, yeah, man, dude, I was there, right. like I said, like for two days in a row, I was there for like an hour. I was just like, anything, just get me out of here. Okay, yeah, and so for the got, people at like, home rain, don't know. Rain sensing, hang on, windshield hang on. wipers. Oh. Nah, let me talk about oh. all the stupid things this thing. <laughs> no, Yo, nobody knows rain, what car you're me, talking let me, about. Let me talk about rain sensing wipers for a bit here. I'd love to see how good they are on that car, because I'll tell you what, on the fucking BMW, on the fucking 2019 Odyssey, and on my fucking infinity, I don't know half the time what the fuck it's actually sensing. Cause like I drove Cat's van for one day, one day. It's a 2018 or 2019 Odyssey, top line, super nice van, whatever. Auto wipers. It's like, you know, the you know, before intermittent was like, you know, slow and fast. But now it's like, I guess, the sensitivity of the fucking rain sensor. But it's like I'm driving, it's fucking raining, and it's not wiping. But all of a sudden I'm at a light. It's not raining and it's wiping like crazy. I'm like, sh- like who the fuck wants their wipers on at the light? Which is actually a kind of a cool BMW feature, because you can you can actually with that shit that you tune it with with the with the with the app, yeah, yeah, with the app, you can set how little the wipers go on at a light, which is fucking amazing. But yeah, sometimes the wipers auto rain sensing trip out. My truck sometimes like it'll just start fucking wiping so fast when there's like a little tiny bit of rain. And it's like I, I don't know how like maybe they just don't <laughs> just work that good. I don't know. Maybe you're like Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Cause it's it's been raining pretty good. Like yeah. you know, I've had a lot of time to, to exp- like play yeah. with it. Because yeah, now there's no intermittent setting. It's like yeah. off. Well, it is auto, intermittent, but it's like. But then you can, yeah, you're, yeah, you can tune the auto, apparently. Yeah, you can so auto like, tune it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, then it's not truly auto if I can choose how quickly the it's frequency the sensitivity of the. Yeah, it's just too quick. It's just too sensitive. It like right. It's always the BMW wiping. was always like uh, like a like a lot or too much. It's like, can I just turn the sensitivity, the overall sensitivity down, like forty percent? Yeah, that's the thing. It feels like the whole scale needs to shift yeah. back. Yeah. So I just yeah, found I myself like, just like doing what I always do, which is just turning the wiper on and off once. Oh, that's manually. Okay. I mean, does yeah. it have the does it have the intermittent the little uh, the sprung one? Yeah, if like you push above, it up, off? if you push it yeah. up, it, it does it, and yeah, that that's it does sick. it really nicely. Most JDM cars don't have that. Most JDM yeah. cars don't have that. So then also yeah, that, like. You know, I'm like one of the reasons I kind of didn't want to get this car is, is like the whole climate control entertainment system is all a touch screen in Japanese, you know? Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. That's so that's for me. super functional. And, you know, yeah, it also has like the, the G suite, which is like oh. shows you all the gas stations and all the Toyota centers and all these like historic things and points of interest and hotels in Japan. Which like doesn't work for me, really, you know. That the well, navigation, one the, day you'll be the very navigation, thankful. The navigation doesn't work, and then and I mean, also like, honestly, the JDM the the, navigation in the car, anyways. The JDM cars have what's called uh, VICS. It's like Vehicle Information Control System, so they yeah, can yeah. 
relay like oh there's a fucking tsunami or the roads closed yeah. or like this sort of yeah. stuff directly into the cars so that also doesn't really do anything for me but it's um, a bunch of gobbledygook on your fucking screen yeah but then so i watched a video today where this dude like it's like a special way where you can like you know like press this button then press these two hidden buttons that aren't really there on the screen back and forth a bunch of times and it brings you into this menu on the back side and like you could apparently like change the to the North language yeah. from like oh. canadian canadian australian like all this stuff so i go in hang on whoa 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 now that you've done it tell me the difference between canadian language and australian language because i'm here for it well, that's the thing really is like me. when I get into there, the one option that mine doesn't have is that one. Oh, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? I bet and there's like another the sub Australian menu, one uses another a hidden. Word. Yeah, another hidden sub menu under that hidden menu. And when I got into that one, all of it was in English, but also oh. didn't really have what I needed. So, hey. So. And then, just so ever, then I found a video down. of a JDM car, <laughs> and the guy's going through it, and it's all in English. All of the stuff's in English. He's pressing all the buttons. Everything's in English. He's using the navigation, putting it in. Everything's perfect. And it's like some Russian dudes in Australia. <laughs> oh, man. that's <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, your car yeah. doesn't have it? No, Not like yet. they – I don't know what they did. They like – I mean, they're Russian. They were, they were, Russian, yeah. Yeah. They were I mean, Russians like, in Russian Australia. Day. That's what they said. They're like, we need to have the unit, you know? Yeah, that's always the case. Yeah. And I just really want to stay away from anything that has to do with that type of shit. Yeah, you know, all of that was exactly the express reason why I was kind of posted. Oh, not that, about it. Because I, 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 the rest of the car is super nice. <laughs> dude, the rest of the car is so, that's so nice. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Kevin, what kind of car is it? Because we have not said that. I think you said it once or twice on the podcast, didn't you? Yeah, but presume that people forgot because we I did know. them in two week yeah. increments. Yeah, so it's a 2006 Lexus GS 430. Mm. It's not an Aristo. Don't call it an Aristo. 3GS, as you would call it in America. Exactly. It is I'm a 3 GS. And of the three of us on this call, I feel like I'm the most excited about this car. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Yeah, I, you don't know how stoked I am for you and your stokeness. Oh, no. I tried it's, to do donuts. Very it, it, well, yeah, it wasn't. It doesn't like donuts. These are all the things you're gonna have to figure out. But it I'm very decent, excited. It can definitely do a decent cooker. Oh, it's quick. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's real smooth, Is it real a six fast. Speed? Yeah, it's a six-speed auto, right? How's the shifting? Not terrible. Like you know, I, I you know what I mean. You know when you don't really it notice have it. Modes. It ha like shift modes, any mode. I mean, it it's has like, like fucking Lexus mode. I mean, it's got it have uh, a it's got porch mode. It's got power mode and snow mode. Oh my god, the typical like nineteen ninety three yeah. Camry. Yeah, modes. exactly. Yeah. Um, well, it what does... is power? How is power mode? I mean, honestly, the 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 shift logic in Toyota power modes is quite good. Is is good. But the shifting is not that good. Well, that's the thing. Is like I don't really notice it. Like it's not. It hasn't been like, oh my god, like what are you doing? You know. <laughs> so I feel like that's good. Yeah, does that's it have fair. Buttons on the steering wheel for you to select a gear. I don't or believe it, it does. It's got the like sequentialishness. It has the sequential on the thing plus minus. And is it is it responsive? I haven't I haven't even shifted it like that. Oh, okay. Right. Dude, it just like it like I feel like off the line. It just like if you give it any gas, just like lays that's and then good. the traction control comes on you know oh that's not good yeah i so mean you can turn, you turn it the off. Control off yeah you can do a cooker for sure that's cool that's but like it, when that you, is cool when you try to do a donut it like breaks for you and like beeping isn't that kind of weird yeah maybe they're yeah, like they all have built yeah so then I mean, like, how big how cool. big is it on the mark five supra you know I mean, the 220. I know. It's a BMW. <laughs> I know. Yeah, BMW, so it's probably not that big. Um, yeah, that's cool. Then you, so now you just put an FRS diff in it and a traction control switch. 
or a VSC, or isn't it just an entire like disable the fucking whole car switch? Uh, yeah, because I feel like you lose the ABS at that point too when you get get rid of the VSC. Yeah. What are you yeah. drinking, Ryan? Like every single time, it looks like you're just drinking like a mug yes. full of poison. Yeah. It might be. It's Storm Vanilla oh, it's Storm. Whiskey Stout. Yeah. Everything from Storm is very strong. It's 9%. It's a vanilla whiskey stout. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, it definitely tastes like it's been in a whiskey Shit. barrel. No, it's just like, and I've had it in my fridge for quite a while. So I don't know. It's a bit, a bit stout. It's potent. It's a potent potable, you know? Um, it's hitting. It's hitting hard. Nice. I don't know where I'm going to be in the next few minutes. I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know I'm what I'm going to see. I'm drinking a 9.2. Oh, Tukes, Tukes, of, Tukes of, Hazard. of Hazard. Yeah. Uh, is I'm it, drinking what's, is yeah. 0. 0.0. Got that hydration on lock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, you're driving I'm hope, this new I'm car hoping, I'm hoping not to completely ruin it right away. Hoping to be able to like have a nice, reasonable daily for a bit, maybe over mm-hmm. the winter. In the springtime, like, but I mean, but I mean, crazy. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold You're on, gonna hold on. have to be able to turn off all that shit in the snow. Like, you can't drive that thing in the snow with all that shit on. I mean, yeah, but I'm probably yeah, then I gotta buy snows for that, and it's got an open diff. It's like I can just drive the 17, which is manual with snows oh, and a diff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. And an e-brake. I thought, yeah. I, thought, I mean, I guess don't you it. don't need the, you don't really need a clutch in the snow. <laughs> Yeah, exactly right. There's no grip anyway. Uh, your comparison between when you first started driving the 18 Crown compared to the Lexus, how do you feel? Uh, it feels like a weird... Honestly, it feels more like when I got the Celsius, where I was just like... Because same, this thing has like no kilometers. It's got like 78,000 kilometers. I was like peeling the plastic off the brake pedal. Like they just like never took the plastic off the brake pedal or something. You know, you know like the steering I mean, wheel it's, it's... is faded like from the sun and the shift knob is faded from the sun. But like besides that, it's like pretty immaculate. Yeah. I was going to say like you're yeah, it's kind of hard to compare those two cars. Yeah, this car kinda, is like really shitty. fucking nice. Yeah, Dude, it feels nice. like you I still never have got... the 18, right? No, it's gone. No, no, gone. It's long gone. Oh, it did sell. I well, who bought it? It's uh this guy from Manitoba. I feel like I always get the first part of a story with Kevin, and then I never get the tail end, which is fine. Uh, how much did you sell <laughs> that car for again? Six or seven? I think it was like sixty-five. All right, the eighteen's gone. That's I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, now you got this, but I don't know. I mean, you still got into a car that was miles ahead of what you had driven in the no, i guess the celsius was pretty advanced well that was that's what i'm saying it's like when i got that celsius i was like this car is just like so much crazier than any car i've ever had it's so much newer it's so much nicer it's like a much higher level car and then it felt like getting the 18 i got a bunch of taste of all the features that this car had but yeah the car was rough around the edges and like yeah but yeah you know this car has like heated and air conditioned seats and like has like an automatic thing that comes out of the parcel shelf to like like a sunshade and like yeah it's you know it's pretty I, sick i appreciate that being and gerard you're excluded from this because you have a a taste for the finer things and you already know about them, but like being the type of person that maybe Kevin or myself might be about cars and the way that like when you are into old cars and then progressively just move up the ladder, like <laughs> you're the tech from 2010, you're like, yo, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Is always delightful. And like, I can tell when we talk about it, you're like, this is cool. And George a little bit like, man, that's old news, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the cool part is that that Lexus is a 2007 or whatever, and it has fucking adaptive autonomous braking cruise control. Like, I remember when I was going to get a Velfire, fully loaded 08 Velfire has adaptive fucking cruise, autonomous braking, automatic parking. It has all this shit that, like, yeah, the auto parking, like, North crazy. American cars didn't have till like 2015, man. Like, it was yeah. way advanced. And I mean, even, even like, for example, my Infinity has the 360 cam in 2012, which is like, yeah, that shit's I do feel like, like that's like the next level of car. It's like the 360 cam. Yeah, like that shit's normal now in some cars now. In 2012, it was definitely not normal. And the and the option for my truck to have adaptive cruise in 2012 was also 
you know, I don't have it on my truck, but like, yeah, it that was shit's thing. pretty advanced, man. Yeah, the shit's it's pretty advanced. This it doesn't have auto parking though, eh? Mine no. On the eighteen, the eight some of the eighteen crowns had auto parking. I would assume that some of the GSs have it too. I would. I tap maybe would just assume yours does. What model is yours? Is there? I don't a, know. Is there like a? There were so many when I was looking at them. There were so many weird like C yeah. type and like all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. You, you tried to Who look it up and like, what does this mean? And like, you couldn't. There was no like definitive like this is what this def this, like and <clears> like <throat> a list of all the different model trims or. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, because yeah, also cool. that, yeah, that adaptive braking thing is um, a Japanese only thing as well. Mm -hmm. but the North American cars don't have that. I bet you because uh, the the average top speed in Japan is a hundred fucking ten. Because does the cruise work over one hundred ten or whatever? I I only played with the cruise on the way home today, and then I had just moved into the slow lane while I was fiddling with it. Uh, and then I stopped using the cruise and was like, all right, let's see how comfortable this thing is at 180. So then by then I was like, I'm not also not using the cruise control. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that's one of the things they sort of like. I did wonder that, though. And like cars is like the, you know, the cruise at like the cruise limited at like, yeah, 119 basically or whatever. I think it was like honestly like 109 or one. I can't remember what the fuck car uh, I had at cruise control, but it was like super lame. Anytime you go to use it, it's like, nope. You're like, well, what the fuck? You could use it in the city. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, when you can't actually even use it. Yeah. Yeah, neither of you are using a cruise control that is a, under 110 kilometers. I mean, that's not true, though. In my truck, I do use cruise control, like, mm. at, like, really weird fucking speeds, man. Like, I'm, Why? like, zoning out, driving down. Because I, I fucking, it's, it's horrendous on gas. And, like, half the time, I'm either driving the shit out of it or I just really don't want to drive it. So I just, like, put cruise on it, like, 60K and just float down the fucking road boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and just check out till i get to my destination till i get to the next light yeah yeah but, uh, oh wait, no, how do i get on, here <laughs> on the way <laughs> on the way to work and back uh up and down 176 it's about like like is a speed limit something like 70 so i usually am running about like 90 to 100 and that's you know that's definitely under 110 so <laughs> I, this is a podcast where we just talk about how fast you guys drive and <laughs> In zones where you shouldn't drive that fast. Well, I Appreciate mean, that. the area the area I was driving on was the Autobahn, so I was okay. Yeah, you were okay to be doing 180. <laughs> <laughs> How comfortable is this at 180? <laughs> I mean, these speaking are of which, when I you need to know when when I was in Calgary, I uh, uh, was fortunate enough to rent a 2021 QX80, so the same truck I have, but like the newer one. And oh, yeah. uh, when we were driving to Drumheller, which is basically a fucking absolutely shitty, straight, super straight, super boring fucking yeah, road. That's Alberta, but go on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then so I'm driving, you know, the speed limit's like 100 or something like that. And then it's like you get these people and I, you got to make some moves to pass because there's like two or three cars. And I got a fucking mm -hmm. entire truck full of people. And Man, you hit the loved hammer ones. on thing. Very important loved ones. Say yeah, that. like you, you dropped a hammer on that truck, and man, you're doing 160, 170, like pretty fucking quick. I'm like, man, this thing is amazing. I can't believe I got like seven people in here. It drops two gears and hits 170 in like, like pretty fast. But even Rita was like, this thing's awesome. I'm like, yeah, it's how much awesome. gas do you like, use? Honestly, <laughs> dude, it was so much better on my than mine. Yeah, like, my average was 14.2. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I want to buy one of these just to save the fuel. It's, yeah. It's the same as my wife's. It's the same as my wife's Odyssey. Yeah. What are you doing? Like You're just burning money by not having this new one. <laughs> hey, um, so you liked Alberta, though, even though the roads were straight? Uh, I mean, the roads weren't all straight, but yeah. The I, roads I, were straight, I, but the tacos were good. I, I liked Alberta. I actually really liked Alberta. I really did. Yeah. Scale of one to ten, how much did you like Alberta? I mean, I only went to Calgary, so I can't say I liked Alberta. That's really so, all Calgary. you need to go to, buddy. You go to Banff, you go to uh, Calgary. I've been to Banff style. before and shit, but I, um, yeah. I mean, scale of one to ten, like factoring in everything, I'd probably say like a fucking eight. That's pretty so good. So now you're gonna, yeah, that is pretty good. That's a that's a livable walking living score. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, uh, good. You drove a thing there. That's great. You loved it. You gonna buy one? What's on the deck here for Gerard? I feel like I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know. You gonna buy like, a new I, one? I, 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 no, Dominic's I, just, gonna I really buy like it. my truck, but it it definitely is starting to age. Like, I no longer have a fucking heated driver's seat, which is quite annoying in this you know it's winter time and shit like and it's leather like if it wasn't leather i wouldn't care as much but like yeah cold sure. ass leather it like actually yeah, like, you my, back is, my back is kind of like hey man like fucking it's kind of cold like you know what i mean like yeah it's like Wait, like sitting on concrete Dominic? Dominic is fucking 10 oh i was like is he gonna buy one and i was like no because like, i was making a joke because yeah he was like at the shop and was just like why don't you just buy the brand new one, Dad? It was so much better. And I just like, because <laughs> that truck's like $80,000, Dominic. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. And then I was like, Dominic, like, why don't you buy one? <laughs> like, ah, good. Ten times yeah. more than my truck. Old Uncle Kevin, just giving advice <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> sage words of wisdom. Okay, so you're not buying a new truck, though. But you, you're feeling it now. It's the No, I think I got to do some work setting it. on my truck. I gotta yeah. do some work on my truck and like get it to like not falling apart status. And then you're gonna sell it. I know, oh man, I've had this conversation with you too many times. You're gonna work on that truck and then you're gonna sell it. You're gonna get a newer one. Uh, I don't know. I really love my truck, man. Yeah, but you the, love the a only, new truck. Honestly, though, the, the, the only twenty twenty. And I don't understand why, because the, honestly, like I don't. They haven't made any changes, man. The engine, the electronics, the fucking everything's exactly the same. And I know that my truck is like pretty brutal on fuel, just comparatively. But I mean, I also have 35s on it. And like the cats are probably clogged. So like I'm not doing myself any fucking favors, but it still rips. Yo, so it feels though, what I (laughs) felt though is those cats are going to fuck up your engine, aren't they? No, but the new truck wasn't that much faster. I thought it was like, I'm like, man, I'm going to feel what it's supposed to, what my truck's supposed to feel like. And I was just yeah. like, I swear my truck's as fast as this, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm I mean, just probably tripping. You might be a little, you might <laughs> just be romanticizing some I shit. Do th- no, know? I do think though, the truck that I rented had bigger tires than stock as well. Like, but they were like regular tires, but like, I remember they were like bulged out. I was like, oh, that looks kind of weird. But like it filled out because one thing about those trucks with the like 21s or whatever the fuck, they look super dumb. But this one kind of looked like, I don't know, normal. I feel so they I look think... perfectly, they put, look perfectly normal when you're pulling up to the country club with your, your buddies to go <laughs> golfing. And then they Ooh. look acceptable when you're towing your your uh yeah, wake boat huge you know? yeah, yeah yeah exactly, exactly <laughs> what they need to do. dude the other day i will say the other day i was driving to work and i like came like the, there's the light where you come off the highway and you turn left mm-hmm. and i'm coming and there's your truck yeah. like completely stocked towing like mm-hmm. literally like a 30 yeah. foot fucking boat yeah. like the hugest boat and it was yeah. definitely like lean back a it's bit it, yeah. but like i was like holy shit like yeah, man, they tow fucking that crazy boat is shit. Huge. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some ones where they're towing like a, I don't know, man, like a 40 foot camper or some shit. They're like, yeah, I just got the weight distribution hitch and like, whoa, I'm still <laughs> yeah. fucking guess. And then half the people are like, yo, man, you're fucked. And half the people are like, yeah, that's totally fine. Dude, Australians yeah. are the biggest. Uh, yeah. They're like, Aussies, oh, yeah. Like, they're like, yeah, I'm towing this, what do they call it? A caravan? caravan? Yeah. yeah, it's like whatever big ass caravan, and then they'll supercharge the thing with a hair supercharger, so it can like tow no problem, like ten thousand pounds or whatever the fuck it is. It's like it's not rated for that, like, but you know. I feel like you almost did an Australian accent, and I was so excited. <laughs> and you were like right on the cusp, and right. Uh, well, yeah. yeah well, I, you, anyways, back to fine. back to Kevin's Lexus. It's a V8. It's a four point three liter one three. You said is there? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Quad cam life again. So are you gonna keep that engine? That's uh, that's the thing. Is like it's just a car. It's a it's a vessel. It's a transportation device. I mean, it's that's the thing, man. When you get a car like that, you're just so like, so stoked because it's such a good example, and like you probably got it for a good price. And you're like, why the fuck would I ever do anything to this car? Like I'll, I will say, when I had that blue BMW, like the 130, I literally. Yeah didn't have an urge to do anything to it because it was just so fucking good out of you know it didn't look the best it didn't 
you know, it was just everything about it was fine. And you were satisfied. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll mm. have that. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, no, I got, I mean, yours I got, has exhaust and like wheels and shit already. So that's a, yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. It seems I wanna, like, like there's a lot of potential. I really just want to make it like scrape the ground and like be super low and silly. You know, we should have a podcast after that's happened. Yeah. And where I like, go back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish I never did anything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's like, it's pretty cool, I guess. But like, have you considered just, sleeping on it and then figuring out just, if you want to do it? Yeah. That's a callback. Kinda, um, yeah. I know. You'd be like, yeah, I just kind of want to drive it again. <laughs> like how I used to, you know, like, I figure by, I figure by then, though, it. like the Altesa will be gone. I want to have a silly car again. What maybe I'll have a, maybe, be gone. Maybe I'll have another car that's my new daily by I'm talking, I don't know, it's like three, four years down the road, you know? The Altus is not going anywhere. Never? I mean that in the nicest way possible. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I, I would store use... it at your can I uh, can I just store it at your place? Yeah, we'll move the Aristo out onto the street and you can yeah. store your car. Speaking of which, I... you gotta bring the blit home. Speaking of which, you... yeah. That would be Speaking of which, I should go look at my Aristo and remember that I own it. Um, yeah, no, I don't. The Altaza, uh, I feel like you, the amount of money that you would want for the car, I feel like would also be, I mean, this in the nicest way possible, might be a little bit tricky to get or not, you know, like it's a, it's a well used machine. It's a well oiled and well used machine, you know, like it's very it's specific. It's a part out. Is what it is. Yeah. Then okay. Mm. Fair enough. Which is a sad, which is kind of sad too. Then at that point, I'd be very sad. Yo, I got an idea, it. Kevin. I'll take my one JZ out of the Blit and put it into the BMW, and I'll take your one JZ out of the fucking and put it into the Blit. Why wouldn't we just take mine out and put it into the? BMW? I know. I'm just saying. It just, <laughs> it's just just stupid ass like thing. So just, just take saying. the two J out of the Aristo and put it in the BMW. I know. I know. That makes yeah. absolutely the most sense because I, I just like. Because then you don't have to even get rid of the blit, the blit really. I don't. I really don't want. To yeah. Do that. Okay. Hang on. Let's go through this just so we know. And the inventory of engines in possession of Serial Nine and all the cars. How many one Js are there? How many one Js do you have access to? Three. 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 How many two Js do you have access to? Two. Two. And then how many A Series Honda engines do you have access to? One. One. Okay. So you we've counted six engines. Yeah. And how many cars do you have in possession that there's could only use one engine that's not in a car? There we have right. one engine not in a car. The K series. Two. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh you're right. No, because the two J is still in the car. The two J is in the car. It is technically in a car. You got me on a technicality, you sons of bitches. <laughs> okay. Sons of bitches. I mean it's in the car that it's gonna live in, you know. Yeah, it's, and where's that car at, Jerry? Which one? What? Sorry, uh, it's in the shop. It's on the hoist. One hundred. How are you doing? Oh, you know, just making absolutely no progress. I had a conversation with Dustin. He said he's going to do some stuff on it, so that's cool. And then I was like, I'm going to put some arms and shit on it, uh, and do the fuel system uh, over Christmas break. Well, you should yeah. get that subframe painted or whatever you're going to do so you can put that in once and for all. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing like, with that's, that. I, that's I been like a month now month or something. Ago, at least. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow. So then, we're getting... Oh, yeah. And then... I haven't decided then, on a color for that subframe. Then we, Yeah, no, then it's just basically the front suspension. Like, it almost feels like you could fire that fucking thing up right now. I mean, honestly, that was the whole point. It was to get all that shit done to fire it up. Like, if it was driving, that would be a fun winter car. <laughs> As is, with some fucking snows on it. But he just ripped the 600 horsepower fucking CD in the snow. That would be sick. That's a great idea. Did you just come up with an idea and then congratulate yourself on the idea? I mean, it was his idea. I thought it was. Sort of. It's an in-between, but I, it's fine. Yeah, maybe every car um, I own that now has a powerful engine has to be driven in the snow. Because I really, you know, I had fun driving the Blit in the snow that I think the two years I did or one year. When Honestly, you anytime, you, anytime you have a car that's real drive that you can spin the tires in a lot of the time is fun. Mm -hmm. You know, like in the rain, mm -hmm. the, the 17 mm -hmm. crown is so fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
this is okay. now I got a lot of thoughts, and I think this is great. But um, yo, are you gonna dri- are you gonna drive the Aristo in the snow, Ryan? I mean, uh, I guess I could. Let's do it. Well, where are we at? I think this is a good point. We're like coming to the end of the year. This is going to come out. I think there's like a week or two left in 20. Oh, Merry Christmas, uh, everybody. Bro. Yeah. This yeah. is going to come out on my birthday. Oh, no, it's before my birthday. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, so, so many questions. Happy birthday, so, Gerard. Yeah. I'm going to wish you a Way to give your personal happy information birthday. out there to the internet. <laughs> Were you not listening to when I described a described yeah. video to you? Um, yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to wish you a happy birthday after your birthday, as is what you do, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I love that you don't probably even remember that that's what you're going to do to me, but like in your phone, it says happy birthday. It was like Ryan's birthday is a day after my birthday. Did you know that? <laughs> in my phone, it says that. Yeah, you said it because you thought it'd be a hilarious troll to me. You put it to the day <laughs> after my birthday because you uh, always wish me a happy birthday the day after my birthday. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, 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 why, why are you the way that you are? You did a funny bit and now you don't remember. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I'm just I'm doing the festivist thing and airing all of my grievances. Grievances? And that's, yeah. and that's my only one is... Gerard refuses to acknowledge my real birthday. Right, um, my, what's okay. your agreements with me? Oh, I only ever get the tail end of. I only get the introduction Beginning of, of the story. story. Yeah. Oh, never sorry. Get the, never get the denouement. Yeah. Let's talk about the relationship between Jesus and cars. Okay. How many times have you had a close call? Yeah. <laughs> How cameras, many times have you had a close, close call? All right. Okay. And, and Jesus saved your life. <laughs> Sounds like I got <laughs> Carrie Underwood on the horn. Fucking <laughs> Jesus takes the wheel over here. Uh yeah okay who where did you hear this what are you talking about what I'm is this reference shit. I'm just talking <laughs> shit. did you literally just make this up I will put this yeah, in the I podcast just, I'm just talking <laughs> shit I'm serious <laughs> all right look great when okay. you have a close call in your car yeah this is actually a serious question when you have a close okay. call in your car and you're like holy fuck like thank and then blank what, what's the word. Well, thank I God, look, thank I'm God, a good thank I, I'm a good Catholic boy, so I say thank God, you know. All right. But I well, also I I say I probably say Jesus fucking Christ. That's <laughs> my like go to. He makes sure to curse his name. Yeah, <laughs> I thank uh, him, but I, I curse him for my existence. <laughs> n- no, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I I, uh, my go, no, my go to say. like exclaim, yeah. Yeah, the scariest moment I had was, uh, yeah, in the Pajero. And what did I say? <laughs> yeah. I always think, I think I say, Man, I hope you shouted, God. like, thank, like, God, you said God. I wish you would have went, was... like, real left field and, like, shouted, like, a Hindu thing or something, you know, like, like oh, my God, Allah, or something. <laughs> no. That's just... Muslim. <laughs> I know. I did. I'm not. No, I would think it was uh, just like, holy fucking Christ or Jesus fucking Christ or some shit like that. But yeah. So are you oh suggesting that our uh, spiritual alliance is uh, <laughs> fucking what? what is the best way to say this? When, when we get into when we get into uh, the close calls, when you're there living it and the thing that you curse or shout out thanks to is what we actually feel like. I don't know. Are you saying saying when you boil it all down, if you're like, yo, I'm an atheist, but then like when you almost, you know, you like you you're on a single line highway and then you a single lane highway and you go to pass a car and you pull out and there's a semi and you just make the move (laughs) and you're like, thank God. Then you're like, that's your religion, like your baptism by fire. Is that what you're suggesting? All right. Good. So I've been with Kevin when he's done that move, and he did not thank anyone but the trucker that sign- signaled that it was okay to go. So that is true. That is Kevin's religion. <laughs> Kevin, do you remember that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do remember that. I also just remember being like, "Hey Ryan, just tell me when it's safe to go." And be like, "Is it safe to go?" And be like, "I don't, re- I don't really think so." No, 
<laughs> and then me looking and being like, dude, I could have passed this guy like 17 times in the amount of space. I got a kid at home, buddy. I got to be real careful. <laughs> but also, yeah, you don't know how car, how quickly a black car can accelerate or whatever. I have know? a pretty good idea, but like I'm always going to play it real safe. You you know? Bad eyesight, you know. You know what's the sketchiest thing is when you go to pass someone and then you accelerate to pass them and the the car starts spinning (laughs) and then it's like you're like okay you had that choice of like either to like kind of back off and chill or just like go with it and like you gotta gotta pedal it a little bit yeah yeah so you don't look like a total fucking crazy guy but uh, well, just to also know, hopefully get the traction to pass them even quicker. But yeah, not true. Yeah, not yeah. Have you that, ever that happened watched, a lot in my Cressida? Going what? Have you ever watched an accident happen on the street? Uh, not knock often. on wood. Like yeah, not not anything super crazy. I, I might have said seen one. I saw a Honda Civic flip on the sea to sky. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Like no, I, see, I see that the track. I see the car flipping the track. That's yeah, I mean thing, that's but... not that's in a caged environment. That's like going to the zoo and seeing a a lion chow down eat on a some monkey. goat meat. Yeah, <laughs> eat a monkey. What zoo are you going to? When you're living out there in the boonies, the Vancouver uh, Zoo. They just yeah, they just put all they just put all the animals together. Like that's how the world is. Yeah. So you know, whatever. Yeah, the fucking. Yeah. They just Noah's Ark it all out there in the boonies, and they let it go. No, I saw a Honda Civic flip on the sea to sky, and it was some weird, weird shit, you man. Did you see the people die, though? They didn't die. Yo, have you ever hang seen on, a hang on. ejected out of the fucking car? Because that I thought you were gonna say, on, I, on, on the internet. I, I thought you were going to say, have you ever seen somebody's soul leave their body? And I was not ready for that. <laughs> I've never seen that in person, but on the same trip that I saw the Civic flip, I'm pretty sure I saw some. This might inform the, our very early episode of the motorbike episode. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw um, out past Pemberton two people on motorbikes that maybe have had it had expired, and the like the ambulance was died. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty the heavy. Ambulance, the ambulance was, was there for trip. no reason. Um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It That's was. Scary. They were like, and we're like, they're not moving. And I was like, Rrr. the passenger was like, what's going on over there? And I was like, oh, this is bad. So That's I've crazy. seen a few things, I guess. So okay, the worst thing I've ever seen <gasps> is that I saw a dude get hit by a car, and so you know, like if you're standing in front of the car. And then you get hit, let's say, in your legs and you do like a full. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very common to see these days, actually, on the Internet when you watch those fucking oh, yeah, shoes flip off. Yeah. Yeah. So the dude fully did. Uh, I mean, the guy was going like fucking 70 or some shit. It was an Integra and he hit the guy's legs and the guy fully flipped over the car, land, like landed past the car. The car drove under him and he fucking landed on the thing. And I just heard like crack and I'm. And the girl I was with at the time, she's like, that guy's dead. And I was like, holy fuck, I just watched a guy die. But he didn't die. Yeah, he probably just broke both his legs or something. I mean, but he was wait, there's probably more. fucked. But like, yeah, he apparently did not die. Because we, you know, it was, we were at a restaurant and everyone saw it and shit. So we asked them later on. We're like, oh, like what happened with that guy? They're Are like, no, dead? he wasn't dead. But I was just like, man, I fully 100% thought that that dude was dead. When we were on our 2015 LA road trip, oh yeah, uh, we went for breakfast one morning, and we had to like go past because there was like a helicopter in the air above our house for a long time, and then we like went past and they had like a tarp out, and I think like a guy on a motorcycle died. This has become the darkest podcast we've ever <laughs> done very quickly, which is interesting. But wait, wait, so none of that die. stuff. You could everyone, yeah. This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. That's from Fight Club, anyway. Um, none of this stuff affects either of you when you see it. Like, both of you, I'm gonna just say it from my perspective I don't think you're necessarily unsafe, and I mean this as a compliment. You <laughs> both kind of drive like madmen. <laughs> And I don't mean like people who worked on like Madison Avenue and made like advertising. Just like I mean like people who unhinged. 
mildly unhinged. Like you both drive. Like yeah, it's fuck. Okay, I'm gonna say As this. A, yeah, say it. A, <sighs> and then I'm gonna follow this up with a thing. Okay, so like even at the height of the VI times, there there was little police enforcement, if you will. That was the one thing they were enforcing. Like, there's no H O. There's no H O V enforcement. There's no speed enforcement. There's no fucking anything enforcement. The only thing they care about is modified cars, even now, and they don't really care about them that much anymore. So like. It feels like you can sort of just do whatever the fuck you want. And whatever the fuck I want is fun. So, I mean, sorry. <laughs> knock on wood, knock on wood. Yeah, I know. I yeah, agree, yeah. you know. I mean, but, yeah. I definitely like in the rain and shit. Like, I don't like drift that much. I know that when I was younger, I mean, you definitely probably do it a lot more than I do. I definitely drive way more chill. I've, I've gotten enough goddamn fucking tickets for like drifting in the rain and stupid shit like that. Like, I don't do that anymore. I just drive relatively fast. But I, I mean, even still, I'm just like, I don't I don't think I drive that fast simply because I used to You've drive never so seen much faster. Anybody faster. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Like, I, I you know what I mean? Me. Like, when I was younger, I drove, like, like, recklessly fast. Like, recklessly fast. Like, to the point where, like, I had a single cam Civic and anybody that ever saw that thing was scared to race me because they're like, that thing must be so fucking fast. I don't know what the fuck's in it, but it must be fast. Or it must be, like, modified to shit. And it was just a single cam with, like, nitrous or something. But, like, I would race anybody, race any any time. Like, it was just, like, it was always red line, downshifting the turn. We don't drive that ridiculous anymore. You sure about that? <laughs> you both respectively still drive more ridiculous than the average person. And oh, I yeah. thought, I mean, the ah, okay, but, but the that, average person is a, like, yeah, a complete a, pleb. You yeah, but compare. here's the thing: I didn't even like. Okay, I'm gonna frame this. I hate being the one that drives around either of you. I'm much happier being the passenger in your car. And not because, like, I think I'm a bad driver. I just don't want the judgment. Like, I don't want to disappoint either of you. I don't want that on me. Like, I don't really like always having Gerard in my car because, like, he's going to criticize some <laughs> shit that I didn't even think about. And then Kevin, one, like, I think one time I've been Kevin CD and, like, I don't mind. Like I was driving casually. Like, we got in a fight about off. the national. No, that was on the way back. That was a different fight. That was about music and fuck you about that. It's what that is. Um, on the way there, Kevin, on the way to Matt Peterson's birthday, we were yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah. And I don't mind. Like, here's the thing. I like spending time with you, both of you. But Kevin's in the car. We're having a conversation. So, like, I'm more interested in having a conversation with my friend Kevin. Than driving. Kevin's more interested in me making sure that I'm making the best fucking time of my life to get we there. We were already like, late. We were already late. And it was shitty weather and there was traffic. And I don't think there was a lot of moves that I could do that would change it. But even when I did a little move, Kevin was like, thank you for doing that. It wasn't even a real move. But I was like, God, Kevin's judging every goddamn move that I do. I feel like I'm doing a driver's test. I don't. This isn't fun for me. I love spending time with Kevin. But not when I'm driving because I feel like I have to justify my existence. Now, part of that is on me. But here's make the thing. Moves. <laughs> yeah, make better moves. And then I'm always like, I'm not going to make Kevin and Gerard moves here on a different level. And that's fine. There's levels to well, drive. Only make moves if you can make the move. Oh, uh, they make There's a lot of rules to making moves. <laughs> and which is like, I, I'm not sure Cedric meant it as a compliment or an insult, but he was like, you, he's like, I feel safe when I drive with you, Ryan. But also, I know you'll make it like you'll do a move. You drive like an aggressive dad. And it's like, that's <laughs> fine by me. <laughs> got a kid at home. You know, I got a family. I'll do that. Gerard yeah. has a family. He's being aggressive. It's fine. Doesn't matter. I felt, you know, I was like, oh, man, fuck this. This must be a me thing. Until Matt Peterson sent me that fucking video of that guy in the pickup truck driving and it's like this guy who's all sporadic and all over the place i'm like oh man matt sees kevin the same way i must see kevin when i'm driving with kevin and that was uh a thing of it was like picasso painting 
in his blue period or whatever yeah. he did. You know, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, I'm not the only one. Kevin and Gerard are actually anomalies. They're not the norm. <laughs> And, well, I mean, I think, I, 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 I think you should have known that a long time ago. If you were yeah. an engaged I, driver, I feel like, ah, you know, you're not, that's just it. Yeah. Nobody's engaged. Yeah, it's like, yeah, only you two are engaged. And honestly, the that's worst, I mean, experience it today. I will say the motherfuckers that are only engaged when it's time to fuck somebody else. I like, you know, driving slow, sure. like a little bitch. And then somebody wants to take the spot in front of you and you fucking turn on your like engagement and like try to close the gap and flash your lights and honk and do all this shit just because you want to be a jerk about it. And you're driving a white fucking Model 3. Get the fuck out of here. Like, oh, you're saying they only turn it on when they want to get in front of you? Yeah, no. When no, they want yeah, to like, oh, not get somebody in. in. Like, oh, they, yeah, don't, yeah. They, they don't want to... But like you're put- putting along way yeah. under the speed limit, and someone is yeah. like, "Hey, I'm fuck this guy. I'm gonna pass him." And they're like, "Oh, no, you don't." Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Listen, uh, we all know I have a history of almost getting into fist fights with people. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll throw down on those if you catch me on an <laughs> off day. I was just gonna say, I that I know the video you're talking about, like the the video with the guy drifting that like F three fifty, and like yeah. yeah. I got a different thing from that video. What did I miss? Um, that we're talking about a video. Ryan right? made like did a I meme miss? where it's like my face on top of the guy, the video. Oh, and then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Matt okay. and I made a meme. Okay, his sorry. Vision, I executed the meme. <laughs> yeah, so you made it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. You know, you're the producer. You're not the writer. No, I didn't write that. I wasn't the showrunner on that. You that produced was and directed it. Exactly. But when I watched it, I was like, that is a little bit of Kevin. <laughs> anyway, go on, Kevin. Um, Because there was a point in time when my mom was on vacation and she had like a intrepid. Mm. And um, yeah, it had like a aff, like a, a hand release e-brake, but a, a pedal brake, you know, pedal e-brake, front wheel drive. And I remember like, drifting with matt and them in the car and basically like getting the e-brake stuck up and i couldn't find the release like similar to what i think happens to the guy in that video where he just like can't reach the e-brake release because his seatbelt is locking and he like, can't get to it i just when i watched it it mimicked my experience of being with you and just being very sporadic <laughs> about all of your actions you know like you watch the video that we're working on and you're like i feel very manic and like all my actions are kind of like all of you know she said when you're driving you're like mm-hmm. yeah. manic yeah that's the impression that i got from the video kevin is like in my world in my mind is sporadic he's just like yeah. and you know like he'll feel a thing for a minute and then he won't feel it anymore and he'll be over it and it's like you know that's like yeah i remember the first time i drove i went i rode in kevin's car drifting and i was like yo man you're doing a lot of shit with your your hands like he's just like all over the place like do this shit and so that to me anyway yeah driving with both of you is what i'm saying is the worst fucking experience. So regardless, <laughs> I'll always be like, I, I mean, yeah, I I either of you drive. No, it's one thing fine. I will say, I, though, I trust both of you when you drive and you do what you're doing, which may or may not be a problem. What I'm saying is I don't want to be under your microscope while uh, I'm yes. driving. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, you I don't want to be the part? judgment. Go on. So two yeah, things. Lately, part. I feel like my going driving. to Portland. With Ryan driving, it was the worst part of my entire ah. life, looking back on it. Yeah, look at this fucking graffiti. This vi- no, it was, more, it was more about the vibrating yeah, body the, panel. The vibrating. Oh, no, yeah. I was going to say, uh, my driving lately, when I don't engage, has dropped significantly. Like, like, I feel like when I'm driving and I'm always on, like, you know, sometimes you're just like, you're like, you're on when you're driving. You're like, yeah. okay, I'm going to go here. I'm turning this corner. I'm like apexing it. Like I'm kind of speeding. Here yeah. comes a stop sign. I'm probably going to knock yeah. a stop. Just, you know, like you're, you're looking, just like, yeah, you're looking in the mirror. You're like, okay, there's this car behind me. You're looking over there. Yeah. Like, that yeah. guy's, that guy's coming that far. That guy's going to stop. Exactly. Guy, right? signal on. You're looking at like a hundred million things doing a million, a hundred thousand million calculations. 
But now it's like, man, when I drive and I'm not on, dude, I swear my drive is super shitty, man. Like I drive, like there's been numerous times when I'm with Kat, like on like a fucking date night or something. And I'm just like trying to just drive chill. And I'm like fully, like she thinks we're fully going to get into an accident. And it's like, obviously like a bit of a close call and like unnecessarily close. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh fuck. Like it's not a big deal. And she's like, kind of like, it's a big fucking deal. And then I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. And she's like, don't fucking tell me not to fucking worry about it. Like, you know what I mean? And then I'm thinking, man, am I a shitty driver? Like, but it's because I'm not ripping it. I'm like, it's because I'm not like fucking paying attention. I'm not engaged. Like, yeah, yeah you're saying when you're lax and you're dry. But I mean, yeah, I, that's probably man. where most. That's it, the complacency is where, where all accidents happen, you know? Look, if that's you're a, no longer willing to take the gap, Gerard, then you're no longer yeah, exactly. a race car driver. <laughs> Uh, thing that's no, sick, I get that. Though, when I pass in the truck, so it downshifts and it actually spins in like third gear a little bit before the traction control gets it. And I was like, holy fuck, like my truck can do that. And like, it's pretty scary when you're like going to go around a car and then this giant ass truck like kind of like gets a bit squirrely. And you're like, oh, fuck. Luckily, it's all wheel drive. Because I was like, I man, if, sick, this, it was, like, if it was real drive, like that'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> Just like whoa, this big ass truck, like dude, that'd be cool. sick though. I mean, like, yeah, it would be sick and fucking scary. I think it's scary to slide. I'll tell you that. But I mean, it's also because it's four wheel drive. It's I yeah, anyway. but I mean, like, I don't know, like it, it's spinning the tires while going straight, and it like kind of like getting a little squirrely is is considerably less scary than like sliding it. Oh no, for sure. But I'm saying I have slid it like in the snow and yeah. stuff. And it is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, like, but I'm just saying, like, I'm like, sure in third gear where it's like you're like romping on it and it's like spinning the tires a bit. You're like, yo, this is kind of sick. It's just like, oh, no, for sure. I'm just like how much. Yeah. And also, like, now that I know that I can do that, I'm like, whoa, this is like, yeah, I try to get it to spin a bit more each time. But like, yeah, that's what I mean, right? Like, eventually you're yeah. going to get to the point where you're like, yo, I'm fully comfortable doing this all the time. Like, yeah, yeah. But anyways. Yeah. All right, and it's. I remember so how's that Prius, right? <laughs> yeah, you got to fight. Driving a Prius is a constant fight with everyone in the world. You the get to save on gas. Yourself. No, the it isn't, Gerard. <laughs> it's you got to fucking fight with all the other people out there, brother. They're all coming for you. I look. I will say, doing this podcast. Because now it affects my view on the world, all the conversations that we have. Like, I'm just like, things that we talk about, I'm just putting out in the universe, you know? Yeah. My fucking vision board of me just cursing out white Teslas is, uh, you know, that's a thing. Like, anyway, I take a lot of bias from this podcast and then apply it to the real world. And I don't know if that always sits pretty with everybody in the car. Fuck, you know what I just thought of? No, not <laughs> I need a trailer. I could I could have brought the fucking yeah. 100 home and worked on the 100 at Ooh, home. Couldn't have. Why not? I don't know, because you, you, you have no time. No, I work at night at home. I work on the cars at night at home. But you... I was... Okay, sure. I did all yeah. the work on the BMW at home. I did all the work on the Blit at home. You don't the only thing I didn't do on the BMW was the fucking oil pan. Which I did at the shop because I certainly can't do that here. My, I guess realistically I could have uh, because I just did it on the floor. But I originally my plan was to do it on the hoist. But yeah, all that BMW shit I did at home, man. I mean, even just the water pump I just did, I did at home. Perfect. And then, yeah. I think this is great. I think you should take the car home. I think you should work on it. You should do whatever brings you joy. Yeah, get in enough minutes get a trailer um let's try to solidify some minutes here for the podcast that i can actually oh, use right, part right. of that's on me that's okay i did this i understand you brought this upon yourself i did this i brought this evil upon myself hey both of you mm. there's a, as we calculated mm. earlier there's a lot of engines and there's a lot of chassis we're heading into I believe the year is going to be 2023. Is that right? I don't know. What no. 2024. Come on, man. 2024. Thank you, both of you. We're going into 2024. What do you think 
2024 holds for both of you. We're getting close to the end of the year. Uh, we're going to head into the new year, which, as you clarified, was 2024. Perfect. Jeez, <laughs> uh, I like looked at my phone and it didn't say the year, and I was still. Hey, Ryan, the world's you done a, Yeah, yeah. The number. The world's done a number on me, and I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot. That's happened. Kevin's got a new car. Gerard loves BMWs, but he's got a 100. Where do we expect to see Serial 9's automobile fleet in the near future going into the new year? I mean, I'm going to finish my 100. I want to get that done. I really do. Um, The Blit, honestly, I was talking about taking it apart. The main reason for taking it apart was because to finance a new build. I'd rather just make more money with Serial 9 and not have to fucking take the blit apart and just build the new car as it is. I don't know if that's even going to be possible, but that would be the goal. And the new car would be an E90, uh, optimally E91 wagon, 3 Series, BMW with a 2JZ and an 8-speed, 8HP automatic trans. Uh, and just like a very simple single turbo setup that probably makes like, I don't know, four or 500 horsepower or something. Probably like 600. Mm. <laughs> no, probably, probably like 500 horsepower. I just, all I want honestly was a, was a, was a two J that sounded like a one J. So like I would be super happy with an NAT honestly, then just cause they sound fucking fully sick and they make the same amount of fucking power essentially. Uh, but yeah, so BMW powered by a Toyota because the, just, I just can't get down with the BMW engines. And that's basically for chassis development. And then Kevin, I don't know, Kevin's got a whole bunch of new shit on the horizon. Yeah, man. All uh, I want is a rocket car and a solid gold house. Go ahead, Kevin. That'd be sick. Dude, all I want is a cruise ship and a mansion. It's only two things. Is that too much to ask? Two could be a mansion. Cruise ship, though. You know what I mean? Like, fucking drive it around all sick and shit. Fucking ghost ship? ride it. Ghost Dri- ride that whip. <laughs> Hollow it out and have an indoor drift track that goes multi level. Just takes me across the. the yo, ocean. yo. Side note, Kevin, you should talk about your fucking sim rig setup. Yeah. Well, I don't have it yet, and it's going to be like multiple podcasts away, unfortunately. Uh, 33 weeks. Definitely not. Kevin. That. Better not. Yo, be. I'm going to start a GoFundMe for uh, Gerard Simrig to compete with Kevin and the rest Gerard, of the you're rich. Stop it. I'm not fucking now, rich at all. What are you talking about? You have a house and multiple children and vehicles newer than the year 2015. It's it's weird you're when right. they like they ask you those questions and then you're like yes and then they're like you're like the top one percent and you're like I don't really think that's true like I don't feel you know that way. way yeah which questions I don't know it's just like oh like blah 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 like I I don't know I feel like it was just like you know like do you have yeah. food do you have money in the uh, bank like you know what I mean like like no. did yeah, you go I'm... on vacation you know what I mean like. Yeah, I put Gerard's name on all of my new credit applications. It's been going really well. Uh, all right, Kevin, what do you got? What do you got in the chambers for us? I still got the Alteza. Love I've been it. waiting for Gerard's car to be maybe like a running car or yeah, just like a slightly tad that. bit further along. I don't want to take my car apart until that car is like a little bit further together. So, uh, but yeah, and then also, like, I still, there's still a bunch of stuff I need to buy for the K-Series. Uh, which I have it done. I still need, like, a starter and injectors and a fuel rail and a throttle body. And it's getting pretty close to it. There's probably some sensors and wiring, but. And then, yeah, the Altez is still together as it was, as it is. Got the GS, sold the 18. Still have the 17 that I my daily, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. 
Oh, I have another develop one. develop parts for the three GS, which is three GS. That's a, yeah, that's a, I feel like a big takeaway for anyone that has yeah. a three GS. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, or two IS. Serial, two IS. Or two IS. Serial or nine is going to start. Yeah, I mean, probably less of those, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't fucking do your market research. Yeah, um, so basically those two Toyota chassis generations and the BMW E90 should be the focuses for also 2024. The BMW E80. Uh, oh, like the one crazy. Series. Yeah. Oh, um, good. But what I will say is we sold the 100. We sold one of the 100s, uh, which was Danny's old car. But I traded the wheels, so I got my old Varianzas back. The 1819 Stagger off my original yellow Cressida. So that, to me, is actually like a really nice Christmas present. That's very good. Now paint that car yellow and put those wheels on it that's and live your life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's really great. Okay, so that's what we got going on. Um, Kevin, do you still plan to drive a lot of events next year, or is that not on the list of... Uh... I don't really know. I mean, I want, uh, do I want to drive? Yes. Like, I, I yeah. don't know. I feel like I drove I a think... lot last year. If I, if I, I feel like if I got to drive like two or three sort of like hallmark events, if you will, I'd, I'd be totally happy. But like, mm. uh, I feel like the term hallmark has changed what it means. And now I just picture you go to a small town to drift. Uh, yeah, and there's a Christmas a man. movie about it. Yeah, I yeah, it. yeah. Like there's a, a a man there that you meet that owns a, you a tire lot. Yeah, and you, uh, yeah, and what you know, you first you don't get along. Again? I'm writing the Gerard Hallmark should, movie. I think Gerard should be writing this. He's... Yeah, I'm oh, writing the Hallmark on to- movie. I want Toto's mile. <laughs> Write a Hallmark <laughs> Christmas movie about Kevin as a drifter. <laughs> yeah, he goes to. He goes, he goes to back a to a small, small town. No, I go back to the small town I'm from. And Richmond. the girl who teased me as uh, when I was younger is now owns a tire company. And she took she, over you know, her dad's tires. Company, t- exactly. You know? Took over her dad's tire yeah, company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Got now it. we hit it off. And, she, you know, she has to try and win me back because she was such a bitch to me in high school. Right. Right, and then in, in the end, she's the uh, VSKFs. Exactly. Exactly. She's like, oh my yeah. god! Exactly. And Dude, and you is, have a you have a big business fiance at home okay, who's been yeah. too busy, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. working on doesn't care about me enough. Yeah, big business. If this yeah. deal goes through, you'll be set for the rest of your life. But it doesn't matter. This she's got a tire company, and you could save her dad's tire company that you know she Fuck took her. over. I'm making I'm making movie magic. We're fucking building out. This is what you call different finance streams, Gerard. That's what we're doing right now. This we're is what I went the, to we're school sell for. The script so good. Just so everybody knows, I once worked on a Hallmark movie, which is pretty funny now oh, to think really? about. But. Yeah, not as anything important. I was just there, and well, I was a Hallmark movie. There was nothing important. Yeah, or it was all important. I don't know. Um, fuck, I don't know what this episode's <laughs> what's gonna happen with this episode. <laughs> okay, but yeah. You know so what? if anybody knows of a clapped out, fucking non-running E ninety one wagon or E ninety one, which is a three series wagon, that'd be great. Non XI. I don't want to fucking X drive shit. So I don't know where the hell I'm going to get that. But okay, Dairy needs a BMW. Somebody, if you know anybody, reach out, set him up. That would be great. Kevin's going to do what Kevin does. Ryan's going to write a screenplay for a Hallmark movie. Apparently, it's all right. I know how to write oh. screenplays. Oh yeah, go Sorry. Gerard. More importantly. Maybe not more importantly, but like also quite important. You know, we got project cars, we got project this and that, but we have a project fucking serial nine. Uh, we're switching websites. We have a new website coming out in 2024, different functionality. It should be a lot more features, uh, slightly different look. Um, it's going to be a lot more sort of like 
easy for people to buy Streamline parts because it'll have a robust FAQ, hopefully a chatbot that answers 75% of your average questions. I love how you just like come up with like 75% off the top of your head. That's 75%. Oh, yeah, of like the questions. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't say a hundred. No, but you could have said most, almost all. Like, there's so many like, oh, there's so many things okay. that aren't a number that like. <laughs> but I mean, I always, I always put a number to something. Uh, products are going to be cool, and they always in cool. stock. I mean, they're cool yeah. now, but they're going to be more cool. Some always cool shit cooler. coming out. Uh, I was going to say, I've noticed I've been getting more emails from Serial 9, which is, like, super confusing to me. Yeah. Doing email marketing, to me. SMS yeah, no, marketing, marketing, all the shit. Uh, if I start Why getting SMS marketing. Why is it confusing, uh, though? Oh, because... Um, I said that, like, 30 times. Only to me... Yeah, sorry, Kevin. No, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> only to me, it's only... Because I... When I get emails from Serial Nine or Kevin at Serial Nine or anyone with a Serial Nine, it's never like proper material. It's like feedback or an image made out of like brackets and backslashes <laughs> or, uh, you know, like. So I'm always like, oh, Gerard sent me an email. And it's like, oh, no, there's a sale. And I think that is great. You're doing great. <laughs> I only mean from like my perspective, it's a weird thing for me. Ah, you know, I feel like sometimes I get to circumnavigate the the line, and that's the 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 one of the many privileges of, on of both this sides. job. Yeah, and then and then I'm just in line, and uh, that's interesting for me. <laughs> that's why it's weird. It's like, oh, I'm also, you know. I'm a member, but I'm also a customer kind of yeah. type thing. And yeah, that's how that feels. Uh, but I'm glad to see it. I'm glad that we are using you are using all the technology that you can use, and it's great. Um, I'm glad you're eating the dog food. That's what I'm glad about. Yeah, man. Fuck. Look, cereal nine is <laughs> the second best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm gonna go on record. <laughs> Well, that's a heavy statement I just made. Let's yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm, cool. not, I'm not going to ask you what the number one is because you better not mm. say it online. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Hmm. Okay. You're going to have, an ang- you're gonna have an angry woman. She doesn't listen to the podcast. Serial nine is the third best thing that's ever not, happened. Not until, yeah, I okay. tra- not until I transcribe it. Oof, don't print it out as a book. Oh, yeah. Then she might read it. Shit. Okay. Thank you. You know... Regardless of what happens, I'm still grateful for the time we spend together doing this podcast. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we've that's done very, very thoughtful. It is. That's yeah. Uh, we've done 84 podcasts, you guys. That's nuts. That's honestly crazy. Yeah. And we honestly, just keep going. Crazy. And what you know, we didn't put an episode up on. Um, on YouTube, and Mitchell McGarvey reached out to me and asked, where is that podcast? And I thought, that was nice, because <laughs> Goob, getting real sick. Hey, before we, end the, before we end the podcast, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was going to do this next week, but maybe I'll do it right now, just so we make sure we have enough billable hours. Um, what was your favorite part of the last year, for both of you? What are the favorite things that you did car-wise? You can say like talking about but... chasers. Talking about chasers is the best thing you did this last year. Oh, I thought you went on the podcast. No, uh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. I just meant with cars. What's the best thing you did this year? Uh, went to Week Fest with my blit. Yeah, that was and and, and like with my homies. Like <laughs> Thanks that, for that whole that. Was... No, I mean that trip. That was, was... Yeah, it was great. Love to. Did you like that more than going to Final Bout? Yeah, man. I got to drive my car. Okay. <laughs> Final Bout was really fun, but I was a spectator. I wasn't a participator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that something you'd like to change next year? Fuck yeah, man. I'm sick of fucking standing around like a dumb bitch. Hold I'll drive whatever car. fucking car I can. At this point, the Blitz done its thing. I'll drive the Blit. I'll drive the fucking 100. I don't give a fuck what I'm driving. I'm going to drive something. But I'm not going to drive the Blit in some shitty, like, you know, like 
mission raceway thing, but I'll drive to Blinton like, you know, an event that's like, I don't know, Spirit Peaks or Final Bout or whatever, some sort of cool event where the other cars will also be kind of cool. You know what I mean? Can we expect to get Gerard in a car out to at least one drift event this year? Oh, and yeah, the incoming year. Perfect. Yes. Uh, Kevin? Yeah. What was your favorite thing that you did in your car this year? A I car. almost want to say DUI. It was like, I don't know, it's just kind of like fun. Like, obviously, like, I don't know. It's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to drive up by myself, like, with nobody else. Like, no other car, nobody in my car by myself. But, like, it just is It is a vibe, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then that whole that whole weekend was, yeah, was just so sick. And, yeah, it feels hard to choose. It's a lot of, a lot of fond car memories, but uh i it's an interesting thing because most of my memories are actually i feel like very much tethered to kevin's memories if that makes mm-hmm. any yeah. sense i week fast was super cool fun to drive my car that was great so i get that with gerard um uh, i think drift week was my favorite thing that we did but that's me uh only because i think i said it after we did it and just to reiterate the point uh, it was just cool to live that life for like two and a half weeks, right? Like you're yeah. out there doing the thing that you care about, watching your friend shred. I was trying That's to make contact. Like, honestly, if if I could, you know, being true, being true to to myself, it probably is drift week. There's like so many, so many experiences, so many places, so many tracks that like were all new and like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I guess. You don't have to say that because I did. No, um, I just think it's nice because uh, as every year I get obviously a year older because that's how time works. And it's still nice to be able to be around that stuff. And I'm very grateful that I get to see it and get to experience it and still has some sort of relevance, I suppose. Or, you know, it still means a lot to me to go do that stuff. So it was nice to go do that. And I think uh, this year became it was a good Good demonstration of that, of of all, you know, over the last few years, I think this year really was the best uh, representation of that. Anyway, that's not to say that we don't have exciting things coming up in the new year. Uh, I'm very excited for everything that happens. Excited to see where your guys' projects go. As we mentioned, there's a lot of engines. Uh, It's a fun game of musical chairs and figuring out which engine goes where. And I hope people check back in with both of you to see where they're going. Check the new website. Oh, Oh, you better follow them. Man, I wish Macho Man was still alive. Um, Okay. And then, um, yeah, check the new website. Uh, like Gerard mentioned, because that'll be great. And I know he feels very passionate about it. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Why did you laugh? No, I do. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be a little bit of work for sure, but like I'm stoked on it because it's like, I just feel like we can incorporate so much more shit. And that yeah. I'm stoked to bring it into the new year. Gerard's not afraid of a little work. A little work never hurt nobody. And with that, Thank you for everyone who's tuned in, listened to our podcast. Hey, when you uh, shared our your Spotify and Unwrapped and we were in there, what a delightful surprise that was. Uh, if you, if you'd you. like, yeah, leave a review, comment, whatever on any of our episodes. Ask us questions. We're always here for it. it makes our Give us feedback. Makes this, yeah. Tell us if, if we stink, but not on a public yeah. thing. Just private message because <laughs> i can't i can't handle public feedback anyway hey i appreciate everyone who listens and shares and asks and most of all i appreciate kevin and gerard for doing the things that they do so thanks everyone thank you Ryan. Me we again. appreciate you appreciate you, you fucking me. Appreciate you. princesses or mermaids there you go bye-bye that could be an entire podcast right there. Mermaids can breathe underwater. Check you on the flip side. Okay, bye. Thanks for listening to Serial Podcast Night.